Let us continue with our lesson and today let's go and learn about the Kotlin classes. A class is a template or a blueprint from which an object are created. So the object here means like any object like uh, let's say a TV each one of an object if you say a car each an object and let's say a dog each an object so in the real world we can map our object to any of the object that we can see like a TV like a car dog so all of these are objects so the classes that we are going to create in Kotlin can be mapped with a real world object so if we say that what is in class so class we can just say it's a template or a blueprint from which an object are created and in Kotlin the classes are final and public by default and uh, don't worry about the final and public all of this we haven't covered all of this we'll be covering on our later subject but let's go and see in a practical way and let's let us jump into our project and let us create a class and let us have a look on it I'm here in my NL studio, so let us go and create our first class. So let's go to the new and I will go to the Kotlin file and class over here. And from the kind, I will just select a class and let's give a class name as a car. So car and just click on OK. So that will create a new class for us. You should see it's a class and the name of the class is a car. So let's create some of the properties for our class car class and that would be a uh, let's say a uh, well of a uh, color and uh, let's say that this is of a uh, string that a type and which is equal to let's give as a blank for now and let's give uh, another property of a car car can will have a let's say engine number and that should be of let's say a integer data type and that's uh, let's give an initial value of a zero and we can also have a car of uh, properties of a car let's say a cc and that's of let's give as a string and let's say equals to a blank we give an empty string for now and let's say we have a three property for our car and i'll just say as a property and just copy all of this and i'm just commenting out for your reference only and we have a, a class or a object can ha have a properties and a behavior so we have to take note on these two things which is a object will have a certain properties and a behavior so if we take a note on the car object car will have like a color and an engine number uh, you can say a cc and you can say horsepower brakes and accelerator all of these are the properties of a car but what is a behavior of the car so what a car can do a car can drive so let's create a function for that one so i'll say as a function drive and let's say inside a uh, print and then i'll uh, just say as this is let's say a uh, time and uh, let's create uh, another another one let's say a uh, function of let's say a break and so let's let's say as a break uh let's say let's say a keep break sorry not a break it should be break and uh let's say i'll just copy this one and just paste it over here and i'm Okay, let's say break and uh, the car have a lot of property uh, sorry uh, we have a uh, three properties over here and a two method which is of like so what's the car actually will be doing the 
function that the car is going to have. So we have a properties and a behavior. So behavior, we have a drive and a give break. And uh, let's say we have a two over here. So we have created one car class, which has three properties and uh, two behavior. One is a drive and a, a give break. So how do we make use of this one? So let's create a, or let's go, let's create a new activity over here. And I'll just create a new activity or let's create a new class. Why not we create a class or let's create an activity so we can run it. So I'll just create a new base activity or empty activity. And let me call it as a car name. Uh, let's give a car as a Toyota. So the activity name I can say as a, let me remove this one and I can put it to. So let's say we have a car of a Toyota and just click on finished and uh, let me create uh, one more activity and that activity let's create a new empty activity and let's okay so let's make it launcher activity just now we didn't make it so i've just created another class let's say a ford f o r d right ford activity and just click on finished so let's say we have a two car activity one is Ford and another one is Toyota and uh, what we will do now is in the Ford let's create a object of a car class that we have already so we have a car so let's create an object object from this class so how do we create an object is let's go on the on create activity and I can just say as a where and let's say as a for the Ford right and uh, each equals to car and uh, this is our now we I'm sorry now we have created a object from our class so this is how we created create the object from a class in a kotlin and now we have a object which is a fraud over here but and let's say uh for the we can access the properties so we have access to all of the properties cc color and engine number so let's say we say a color is equals to let's say a uh, red and let's give another property dot and i can say as a cc is uh, equals to let's say to, it should be of a string right so 2500 cc and let's give a uh, another property that is of engine number and engine number is of uh, integer data type so let's give some random number for integer and after we have said all of this value then now we can create a let's say for the we can have a drive and similarly we have another method that we can access is dot give break so we have set the properties like the color is red this is 2500 and let's say the engine number and we also have access to the method that we created in the car this is a properties of the car and this is what the function that car is going to perform so let's call it a behavior so car has a property object has a property and a behavior so we have access over here and if you Go back to the another class that we created there's that one toyota and we can just copy all of this right let's say just copy this and go to toyota over here and instead of ford over here we can just say as a toyota car is in toyota and now we can set all of the properties as well as the behavior of the car object that we have created so that's the useful thing now we just created a one car class over here and this class can be make use we can make use in a multiple uh, object uh, we can create a multiple object from this class like let's say we created a ford over here we created a toyota over here and what we do actually do is we create one class over here and we put all of the uh, like uh, things like 
properties and the default behavior what the class should do and whenever we can make use of that class like we create the object from that class and we can make use of all of the properties and uh, uh, the function or the behavior that we have created so if you run this then it will just go and call this function which is a print ln and it should give i'm a break and i'm driving so that's a way how we create a class and how we create an object from a class in Kotlin. So I hope you guys had some basic understanding over here. And don't worry about if you get confused over here, we will be taking more example about the classes on our coming uh, classes. So uh, let's meet up in the next lecture. And I hope you guys will practice this one. And if you have any question or a doubt, to let me know. So. Let's meet up in the next lecture. Till then, have a great day.